plan. What I think is really cool about this album is that it was completely made from scratch in my bedroom. Um, and it's basically like a musical summary, if you will, of what my life-changing year has been like. Um, from the moment I wrote See You Again to um, signing the record deal in 2015 and having it not be a year and no album out yet and, you know, three Grammy nominations, one Golden Globe-like nomination, just absolutely wild. I rarely record in a studio. I don't actually think I recorded once in a studio with this record. It was literally um, vocals were recorded in closets. It's more fun that way. That's kind of a more warm, intimate feeling to the record. I wrote that We, uh, we Don't Talk Anymore in um, Japan, and I produced it out in uh, the Philippines while I was on my promo tour. So it has like this kind of worldly feeling because I was surrounded by things that I had never seen before, like in Manila and, uh, and in Tokyo. Um, so I was super inspired. I finished the record. And um, I think it has a lyrical sentiment that Selena could kind of gravitate towards, which is why when I sent it to her, um, she was so excited about potentially singing on it. I was like, would you want to take part of this record and like, you know, collaborate on this with me and make it a, a duet? And she was like, of course, where, when do you need me? Literally a day before the record had to be turned into the label, she came over, recorded the verse, did a couple melodic changes, put her twist on it, and finished it in like 15 minutes. And I was just like so blown away by um, her talent and how it's done. It was the last song on the record and it's one of my favorite songs on the record. Hey, it's Charlie Puth. Make sure you subscribe to the Grammy channel. You can't describe it. can't recreate it.